Just recently, I stumbled upon a deck that caught my interest, and after several tries, I found it to be wonderfully entertaining to play. Now, while it may not be the ultimate choice for intense duels among top-tier players, it certainly possesses its own captivating charm. Oh, I can already imagine spellcasters players making faces. Indeed, facing this deck can be quite nerve-wracking, especially after the third Mooncalf dance. You know what? Let's name this deck, the Weasley Twins Matagot Frenzy. Sounds like a blast, right? It's more productive to use this deck in duo duels, so that your partner can provide backup while you're executing the Mooncalf dance. We should seek opponents who can challenge our deck, enabling us to properly assess its capabilities in a competitive setting. Before we bring out our companion Abigail, let's start by overwhelming our opponents with a barrage of simple summons. Now that our opponents have exhausted their magic points, and the moment is right, let's bring out our companion Abigail to keep them preoccupied. Before summoning the Mooncalf, it's a smart idea to call in the Mertlap first, so it can heal both the Mooncalf and Abigail while we're busy performing the dance. Sometimes it's a strategic choice to call upon Sidealong Apparition, as it can restore the health of yourself and your summons, such as the Baby Dragon, as shown at this moment. My partner's timely summoning of the Ron companion was an effective move that protected me and the Mooncalf from harm. All right, everyone, we're in this together now. Expulso! Casting cards, in this instance our moon calf was vanquished. In the next attempt, it's crucial that we tread more cautiously. Now, we need to deploy the Ivy Companion to eliminate the Hermione from the field. Oh, this isn't possible. With the Ivy Companion accompanied by cats and the Mertlap on the field, we'll attempt to summon the Mooncalf once more. By employing Carpe Retractum, we can provide our summons with the opportunity to remain in play for an extended duration, which will force our opponent to exert additional effort to defeat them. I attempted to save the McGonagall, but it was too late. Next time, I need to pay closer attention, as she plays an essential role in this deck. Our opponents managed to trap my partner, and unfortunately, they defeated her, causing the situation to become even more challenging. Just now, I used Sidealong Apparition on my partner, which immediately restored 175 points of her health. This quick rejuvenation will likely save her life in the next few seconds. 
Our opponents seem to possess all the necessary spells to counter summoners and are determined to emerge victorious. The Murtlap is playing a crucial role in keeping our partner alive at the moment. I experienced substantial health loss due to the Thestral attack. What's happening? My partner was defeated, and I am trapped in the orb of water. Is this the end for both of us? Wow. Check out those guys charging straight towards the opponent. Let's try to concentrate the Matagots on a single opponent by employing the Carpe Retractum and Flipendo combo. Remember to cast Flipendo right as the cat is about to land on you. If you cast it too soon or too late, you may waste the spell. The cat's almost got him, but he used the Harry's Patronum to save himself just in time. The locomotor summons are blocking the cats from getting closer, while the partner's irrumpent has disabled the Harry companion. I'm using Flipendo to fling some summons beyond the locomotor line in hopes of reaching the opponent. Our opponents are unable to keep the pressure of the invading cats, even with their aggressive spellcasting. My partner is stunned by the unexpected change of events. Our summons are having trouble approaching our opponent. To hasten their advance, we will hurl them straight at the opponent. Our opponents are kneeling down while we have more than enough movement points and magic points to spare. Glorious sweet victory. I'm intrigued by our opponent's card levels. Let's take a look and find out. I think I've found the key to our victory. And it's truly gratifying. The first opponent's cards, Glacius, Venom and Aguamenti, are at level 18, while Prior Incantato is level 20. The second opponent's cards, Comfringo and Incarcerus, are both level 19 while none of my cards are at level 18. Considering this, the match seems reasonably fair. In summary, just remember that your playstyle may change based on the companions you receive after depleting your starting three. If you end up with three McGonagall companions and manage to keep them all alive, you'll constantly generate locomotor summons. Make sure to employ side-along apparition and flipendo to move them back and heal them as needed. I know it can be challenging to pull off all three dances in real-time action, but once you master it, the outcomes will be well worth the effort. And remember, always lean on your partner for support and backup whenever you need it. If you have any queries or need clarification, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Additionally, for those who don't want to miss out on your favorite series or latest news, you are warmly welcome to join my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. I will blast all your summons with Confringo before they ever reach me. And goodbye to your little helpless mooncalf. You won't be seeing it again anytime soon. Winifred, there are moments when the swarm of summons is so substantial that even Confringo struggles to handle them. The spellcasters will strike back. You can be sure of that. You will see.